Hey guys and welcome to another episode here on The Learning Droid. This is going to be another project video and um, we're actually doing an artist collab project today. So the collaboration artist in question is a guy called, uh, let me just check his name, uh, Andrew Mai or May, depending on uh, the pronunciation. And he is over on DeviantArt guy, and his name on DeviantArt is Luen Darkness and that's L-U-Y-E-N, Luen Darkness, uh, or Luen Darkness. And uh, I'll be placing a link in the description of the video for that. And this is his piece of art. It's called The Bottle Cap Knight. And as you can see, we have a lovely little um, pixie or fairy knight hovering along in front of a uh, salt and pepper shaker with her bottle cap helmet and her jam jar lid shield, I think. <laughs> It's absolutely brilliant. Um, I saw this piece of art over on a website called Imager and I just think it's absolutely gorgeous and I contacted the guy and asked do you mind if I do a copy? Do you mind if I do a pyrography version of it? And he said yes, all brilliant. I'm going to be sending it off to him on the agreement that he pays uh, postage for it. I'm not going to be selling it, I'm not going to be selling it to him, I'm not going to be selling it to anyone else. Uh, it's just a one-off copy. I thought the art itself was really good looking and so I thought I'd do a copy of that which is brilliant. For this piece because of some of the issues and things I've actually created myself a three millimeter box point. So there's our box point and as you can see it's quite narrow. I hope you can see that. This isn't on at the moment hence why I'm putting it near my fingers and the box point is just a simple flat parallel point. So I created that out of uh, 26 gauge wire just for this piece. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the patterning first because you've all seen me pattern before. I am going to redo the how to apply a laser print pattern video because it's not a brilliant quality video. So I'm actually going to upgrade and updo, upscale it and do a, a nicer video for that. But for this, for now, I'm going to pattern first and then I'm going to turn the camera back on and we'll actually do the project. And it's going to be a vlog project, so I'm going to talk a little bit during it. And I hope you guys enjoy those. If you don't enjoy them, simply tell me you don't enjoy them and I'll just post up the sped up pyrography video instead. And I'll just let you guys be the choice of whether you want the vlog or whether you want the sped up pyrography. I'll post the same project up as both if you want. That's fine by me. Thanks a lot guys and see you in a minute. And welcome back guys. And here we have our pattern transfer. As you can see that pattern has transferred across see if I can get it without, the, without it glaring off that the pattern has transferred across beautifully onto there so we have, and yes it is reversed and yes I should have thought about that. I keep forgetting um, recently I haven't been doing that many patterns where it matters whether it's reversed or not so I haven't really been thinking about whether or not the pattern is reversed which of course means that um, some of the patterns that I should reverse before I do them have not been reversed. So this pattern is actually back to front, which means the S is back to front, but that's okay. Um, we can just pretend it's an S on the other side of the salt shaker and it's coming through the glass. Therefore making let the S the right way around straight away. Oh, that's a little bit hot. There we go. So I like these um, artist collaboration things because it means I get to work with a nice pattern created by another artist. I like working with other, other artists as well because it means that um, we both get to share a little bit of joint advertising in a way. For instance, if you guys really like this picture and you go over to DeviantArt to check out Low End Darkness's even dark page, linked below. Um, that's good for him, it's good for us, good for art in general. For some reason this is burning a lot hotter than I thought it would. It is only set on three. Star Cola. 
But yeah, I like doing um, sort of collaboration style stuff. It's a lot of fun. I think most artists like doing collaboration style stuff. It gives them something different. For instance, this sort of anime style. While, while I like um, anime myself, I enjoy anime myself, I can't really draw in this sort of um, anime style, cartoon style. Which means I probably would never have done any art like this without the um, sort of joint work between me and Luan. Luan. I should probably just call him Andrew, it makes it far easier. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to a um, fine detail point because at the moment for some reason I'm having a bit of trouble. Um, for instance this tile has gone completely black and I don't know why. It's like my pyrography machine is burning far hotter than it should be at the moment which I don't quite understand. And I've put my pliers away and I need pliers to pick up a fresh bit. Don't ask me why I'm being such a complete nutter dink, I don't know. And that word was dink with an N-I-K, or N-N-K, dink. Pretty sure this is one of my homemade ones. Which is fine, which is good. I like using my homemade ones. There we go. That would work a bit better for these lines. Oh yeah, this is definitely one of my homemade ones. I can smell the oil from the... Uh, Tip as it burns off the oil that was used in the factory to make make the wire as they force it through an extruder. I'm starting with the character first, just um, basically randomly. With this sort of pre-patterned art, you can really do any bit of the pattern first. In this case I decided to go with our little knight here. She's the part of this pattern that really caught my imagination show. show. So I uh, thought I'd start with her. If anyone else wants to do a, an artist collaboration that's fine. Um, I'm not going to sort of like do them for everyone who comes and asks for one or everyone who wants me to do an artist collaboration like this. Because of course I'm paying for the wood and it's taking up time and things. I enjoy it, but it's got to be a piece of art that I'm interested in doing. So please, if you do approach me to do a collaboration, please don't get angry with me if I say no. I may be busy. I am going to be busy because I'm looking for a job at the moment. Because at the moment, this isn't actually, I'm not selling anything, I'm not doing this as a job. So, I need a job. Bills to pay. Hence why I'm not going to do this for everyone who asks, because I'm not going to ask the artist to pay for my, the artist who did the original drawing to pay for my time. does mean that I'm slightly out of pocket doing this sort of thing, but then I enjoy doing it, so kind of like my relaxation, my kind of way to relax.
I find this sort of pyrography, this cartoony pyrography, far more relaxing than trying to do photorealistic stuff. I mean, I know some people are better at photorealistic stuff than they are at cartoony stuff. That's fine. But I don't think my skill level is up to the level where I'm very good at photorealistic stuff. I, th I personally think photorealistic stuff is far and away, and I don't think anyone would argue with me when I said it required more skill to do photorealistic stuff. Little bottle cap shoulder pads. Which is a nice little touch, something from little, perhaps, uh, junior drinks bottles. I do think the, this particular piece of art is absolutely gorgeous. So guys, what I'm really sort of thinking about doing at the moment is, of course this is a hobby, so I'm just doing this for fun. But if you guys really like anything, if the guys who are watching this really enjoy any particular thing and they want me to do more of it, then I'm going to be sort of watching the comments and watching the likes and the dislikes and watching how many people view each video and sort of judging by that what you guys want to watch it sounds a bit pretentious to say oh um, I expect to get so many watches that I'll be able to adjust what I'm doing based upon what you guys want me to do but essentially that's how this sort of thing works you tell me what you want me to do by casting your vote with a watch If you want me to do more cartoony pyrography, or if you want me to do more blogs, or more vlogs. If you want me to just do more sped up stuff, less talking, I wouldn't mind that. I don't like my voice. I don't think anyone likes their voice, really. But... It's all sort of about... Well, we'll get watched, because really I'm doing this sort of stuff for my own entertainment. I like doing this sort of pyrography. So if you guys don't like watching this sort of pyrography, that's fine. doesn't particularly bother me. I'll still do it. I'll still, still work on this sort of stuff. I'll just not film it. Actually, no, that's a lie. I probably will still film it, but I just won't post it up. The reason I'll still film it is because I like to keep an eye on how I'm progressing as a pyrography practitioner as a maker of the fire art so if you guys like something for instance my making tip series my series on making tips for wire tip pyrography machines hasn't got many views so I'm thinking of doing a little bit less time on that I mean the, the actual videos are quite short and easy to make but people don't seem to enjoy them as much. So, they will probably be coming to an end sometime. Probably sometime soon. is burning a little bit sort of unevenly at the moment. Don't know why. I'm sure as most of you have guessed, I've said it enough times already, I am an amateur at this sort of thing. So if I make mistakes, they don't particularly bother me. I mean I'd love to be professional at this sort of thing. I'd love to be able to make a living off it, but that's not going to happen anytime soon, so... For now, I'm just enjoying myself. And I'm letting you lot join in. For it's very selfish if you're enjoying yourself to not let other people join in. 
on that note guys I really do say that pyrography is a great bit of relaxation if you've got the space and the time to put a little work in getting your pyrography skills up slightly just going to bend this down slightly so that I can use my hand at a more comfortable angle still get the very tip which is the bit of this with fine detail points you should really be using the tip of it most of the time because that's the bit that gives you the fine detailing that you're looking for I'm curious about the original piece of art that I'm using to do this. I didn't ask too many questions about it. But I'd be interested to know if this sword she's carrying is a little wooden sword that she made herself, perhaps out of cocktail sticks and lollipop sticks. Or if perhaps it's a little uh, sword from a sandwich, a little plastic sword. You know you sometimes get them embedded in sandwiches. Perhaps she saw one embedded in a sandwich and she thought, ooh, I'll have that. In which case, good on her. You pinch those cocktail swords. Little missy. You make them cocktail making so and so sorry they ever made a cocktail in your neighbourhood. <laughs> and yes, I am completely and utterly insane. Don't worry, you can't catch it through the internet. If you ever meet me in person, run the other way. You don't want to get infected with my insanity. And teeny tiny bottle cap knees. Oh, the more attention I pay to this piece of art as I do this, the more I enjoy it. I really hope the guy just sort of came up with this and just did it because he thought it was a brilliant idea. Because this is just gorgeous. I know there's a Japanese TV show called Bottle Fairies. But I don't think they would ever turn themselves into bottle cap knights. And this doesn't look very much like the TV show, so. Till proven otherwise, I give my artist friend the benefit of the doubt and say this is his unique creation. Artist friend, I barely know him. I contacted him because I thought he did some beautiful art and I wanted to pinch some, <laughs> essentially. However, guys, I really encourage all of you lot to really sort of think about this sort of artist collaboration thing. It's great for artists of all types, because I mean, when you get into art, you can often get very, not secularised, but very isolated into your particular art style. For instance, very few pyrography guys um, spend a lot of time bringing attention to the anime guys. Very few anime guys spend a lot of time bringing attention to the visual artists, to the virtual artists, to the CGI guys. Very few CGI guys spend a lot of time trying to show other people how great... I mean, we all like these kinds of art. It's not like we have any sort of anything against other kinds of artists. Um, we're all artists, we all like art. But it just seems that we seem to become very sort of isolated. The only times we come together is for joint projects. So things like this knight. My artist friend has drawn a beautiful knight. He actually did this as a um, picture a day challenge in February. So every day he drew a new picture. Uh, he didn't actually complete the challenge, unfortunately. But he nearly did. He got plenty of pictures down. And this is one of the ones that he finished. 
Unfortunately, real life took over. And he didn't have time to finish his picture a day. A bit like um, National Novel Writers Month, where you have to write 3,000 words a day, is it? Another example of how we don't pay attention as we're different artist style, art styles. I have no idea how many words a day National Writers Month asks you to do. But basically, National Writers Month is just a challenge to see if you can write a certain number of words a day, every day for a month, to help you get on with your writing your novel. And I like things like that. I like sort of challenges like that to get people going. I think it's a great idea. So I encourage all artists to collaborate with their artist friends. Doesn't have to be a big collaboration. But if you do collaborate with an artist friend, put it up on your website and they can put it up on their website and suddenly you've got more friends, more people that might be interested in you. Because nowadays art world is still very much a if you want to get anywhere in the art world, you have to get attention for yourself. Now, some people get attention for themselves by doing really big, crazy things like, I don't know, painting the Eiffel Tower while no one's looking. Not that anyone's ever done that one, but <laughs> you get the idea. They're just massive, great stunts to try and get attention. And yes, that works sometimes. It's like in, like in the singing world at the moment. Or in the, uh, yeah, in the singing world at the moment. It's almost like you have to do a stunt to get any worthwhile attention. Now, a lot of those stunts have been formalised, so you've got singing contests. But there are an awful lot of very good singers who never make it onto these contests because they don't have the right story or background or thing like that. And yet they don't get as much attention as the guys who do make it onto the contest, even though they're possibly better singers. I wouldn't say every singer is better than the guys who make it onto these contests. And it's the same with art. You can be a very good artist and never ever get known. Whether you get known or not doesn't depend on how good your art is. It depends on whether or not anyone notices you. I really can't do a stable line at the moment. My hands are really suffering from the cold because um, of my skin condition. But that's okay. These things happen. I do love this little socket. He looks so shocked. It's a little power socket up in the top corner of this um, particular piece. hope you can see it there, up here. And he just looks so utterly shocked. He looks absolutely confused as to why he's here. Like, oh my god, I was just minding my business and then this crazy woman with a sword ran past. You're a power socket. I know! <laughs> and now I'm just talking random rubbish because I've run out of things to say. Now, guys, really think about sort of collaborating with other artists getting things done. If anyone wants to do, uh, or wants me to consider a collaboration with them, if you're a, a drawer or a painter or something like that, bear in mind that anything that of yours that I copy will look far worse when I've done it compared to when you've done it. 
and once again saying deal as long as I'm not making myself bankrupt or spending money I don't have doing this sort of stuff I'm not gonna steal your design and make 20 of them and try and sell them that's not what I'm in this for a back to front artist signature because you know why not Why not indeed? And so guys, um, we have most of it done. We've got to do the bottle, the um, salt shaker next. Once again, I'm having serious trouble doing a straight wall, well, doing a slightly curved line smoothly. It doesn't help that the grain on this particular piece of wood seems to be slightly fighting with me to get the smooth line. For some reason the grain doesn't want to burn smoothly. It's again a little on the fly adjustment. Not quite enough an adjustment. More bend. Oh no dear, oh dear dear, I kind of ruined that bit there. Let's see if I can't fix it. Yes, um, sometimes these things happen. Yes, the wood density. This is basswood and it's normally really good for burning smoothly. But for some reason at the moment it just doesn't want to burn smoothly. I don't know if maybe I didn't sand this bit enough. I did sand it with 600 grit. Or if just this particular piece of basswood has a, a more extreme um, density variation in the grain. I really couldn't tell you. But for some reason, burning at the moment seems to be very uneven. Very rough. Let's see if I can't burn some of this carbon off. Also guys, support your local YouTuber. <laughs> One of the things that got a lot of attention was the um, piece I did for Jesse Cox. I haven't got the money together to send it to him yet, but it will be making its way to him at some point. And uh, when I do, I will post up a video. I am thinking about doing some pieces for the other um, TGS podcast guys. Because I watch the TGS podcast quite a lot. It's where I... Well, I came to the TGS podcast through Total Biscuit. And it's where I found... Dodger and Jesse Cox. Both of whom I enjoy watching. So I thought... Why not? Nice little bit of... Uh, fan stuff. For Dodger, I'm thinking of doing a picture of her and Sherlock Cat in a very Adventure Time style image and then having of course Sherlock Cat as the Adventure Time magical dog I can't remember what his name is 
I don't watch Adventure Time. Shock horror. But with a Sherlock cat in the pipe. <laughs> of course, because it's Sherlock cat. And having um, Dodger as the main lead character. Her little anime version with uh, fox ears and all other accoutrements. See, for some reason this is just catching in the wood a little bit from time to time. I'm not sure why. If anyone who's better at pyrography can explain to me why this thing is catching, I would be eternally grateful. That's another thing, guys. Don't keep secrets from each other as artists. I know a lot of artists are like, oh, but if I tell him how I did this particular idea or how I did this particular pattern, he'll steal it from me. Mm, yeah, that is a risk nowadays. But share and share alike. If you want to know how I did something, guys, just ask. I'm not very good at stuff. I don't do brilliantly. But if you see something I've done and think, oh, that's neat. I'd like to know how to do that. Just ask. Blowing on it to cool it down, guys. So that it can warm back up to a shading temperature. So I've turned it down to below number one. Because I want to do a little bit of light shading at the moment. You may wonder why I keep picking it up guys, simple reason is, at the moment in the light source I have at the moment everything just kind of turns white on occasion. So I'm just looking to get a little bit more information on how the shading is going. I may actually switch over to uh, the square point again, because the square point is very good for shading. should turn it off before you change points good habits and all that. So here's our shading point again. Oh, would help if I actually got it in the blinking times. I really don't know why one of these times is blackened. I'm going to have to take it apart. One of these connectors is blackened. I'm going to have to take it apart and clean it. Because it's obviously getting smoked and blackened for some reason. So a nice low temperature this way up.
I'm just rotating this onto its edge guys just to shade different amounts to different depths and things for instance using the corner I can use it almost like a fine point bit when shading but then I can use the flat of it to give me a nice broad shading area that shades a little bit slower of course you always have to be careful when using any sort of pyrography point that you don't sort of overshade you can ruin pyrography patterns quite easily so it's best to shade a little bit too little because you can always add additional shading later than it is to shade a little bit too much so go slow guys focus on shading a little bit at well, a little bit at a time and then add in the rest of the shading later Shading gives a nice bit of depth. One of the advantages is with pyrography, of course, you can always actually just use depth to give you depth. You can actually burn deeper in places that you want to be in the background. But it's nice to do a little bit of shading every now and then add in a couple of lines that I missed with the fine point bit not sure why I missed those and then we've got some for some reason that got bent then We've got some nice shading here, so we've got shading that goes in there, and then we've got shading that goes down and up, down and up, down and up, down, and up the other side. We've got these sections which are shaded in because they're underneath here. Yeah. I'm starting to like that, guys. That's starting to look pretty damn good. Of course you can always use a nice straight bit like this to straighten up your lines in certain areas. Like this sword needs a little bit of straightening up. Because I've got a nice 3-4mm of straight bit. You can actually use this to straighten up the edges of the sword. And a little stroking to shade in the bottom half of the sword. And then we've got the shadow from the salt pot.
I'm sorry I've gone all quiet guys. Kind of focusing on shading here, making a few mistakes. I'm not very good at shading with a wire point yet, I haven't had much experience with it. Most of my experience was with my solid point as you can see, I mean, I've done what, three projects with this now? Four? Compared to what, 12 or 13 projects? A couple more? With my solid point? So getting the shade to be even, taking a little bit of practice. That's okay guys, that's why I'm doing these sort of artist collabs. To get used to doing this sort of stuff. Get used to getting a nice even colour on my shade. Nice and slow, nice and even, nice and easy. I think that seems to be that seems to be the trick is to be slow about it, slow and methodical. There is no way to speed this up. And get a good shade. It's the trick with everything really, isn't it? You want to learn martial arts, you have to learn it slowly and methodically. There are there is no way to be a black belt in six months. You want to learn to play the guitar? You can't learn it in a week. You have to be slow and methodical about pretty much everything if you want to get a good result. So guys, hopefully you can see that. That is our bottle cap night. Put it in a couple of different positions so hopefully you don't get too much glare on it. There's the pattern and that is a picture by a guy called uh, Andrew Mai and his deviant artist or deviant art name is Fluen Darkness. Link will be in the description. Lots of thanks to uh, Luen or to Andrew for letting me use this particular piece. I now have to take apart the um, at one point, not immediately, but at one point soon I have to take apart these connections and clean them. Not sure why that one's gotten so mucky so much carbon build up on that one and not the other one could be because of the amount of time I spent using a vertical point but as you can see guys always useful thanks come again soon